gambling joint, you come and look for us before we come and look for you. Cash from illegal gambling goes hand in hand with robbery and extortion. You join a gang like the Wuhop Sing Tong or the Wuhop To, you're gone. You're living with them. And his friends feast on Chinese food. Three gunmen burst into the restaurant. First thing we just heard a gunshot. Everybody duck, you know. And only the people, like the innocent people, they sit there, they don't have that kind of reaction. Chinatown beat officer Nelson Lum is on the scene in less than two minutes. I was the first one that went into the restaurant itself, and uh, it, it, was filled, it was still filled with uh, smoke from the gunfire. And there were just people screaming, people on the ground, blood everywhere. In a matter of seconds, five innocent bystanders are killed and 11 wounded. San Francisco's Asian underworld is placed under the spotlight for the first time. Some who were in the Golden Dragon likened the carnage to a firefight in Vietnam. The dead and dying lay on the floor as the ambulance crews and police officers and even those who weren't injured tried to care for those who had been shot. It's the worst massacre in San Francisco's history. It's terrible. It's terrible. Just go in and look at the blood and, and, and I just can't believe it. My initial thought was it was a robbery and somehow it turned into a massive shooting. But Lum realizes this is more than a robbery. I noticed in the middle of the restaurant, there was a group of young Asian males whom I recognize as, you know, being part of the game. The shooting is an attack on Chinatown's largest gang, the Wa Ching. It's part of an ongoing battle for turf between Chinatown's many Asian street gangs. Hung Moon refers to a network of secret societies, also known as triads, which have existed in mainland China for over 300 years. Hong Moon is the overall umbrella for all um, uh, triads. All triad rituals originated from the Hong Moon. Basically, if somebody betrays the triads or uh, any of its members, uh, they will be killed. Chow recruits from the schools of San Francisco, offering the kids shelter in safe houses across the city, where they have free access to drugs, alcohol, and prostitutes. To a rebellious teen, it's the perfect hangout. The older dollars would drop off food, money, whatever we need. That was a place to hang out most of the time. Sing boys commit a string of street-level crimes to support their lifestyle of alcohol, drugs, and sex. We did home invasion. <laughs> We'll rob illegal casinos. We'll do arsons on stores or houses. Chow's growing street force is now an obvious threat to the Wa Ching. A resentful Danny Wong turns on his old rival and breaks the negotiated truce. Chow thinks he controls the streets, but on a stroll through Chinatown with Peter Chong, they suddenly run into trouble. Broad daylight, late afternoon, they were ringed by a group of watching gang members fully armed. And they were about to get killed. The only thing that stopped them from being killed is the police drove right up on it and the gang dispersed. The police turned their attention to Danny Wong's nemesis, Raymond Chow. At Danny Wong's funeral, the FBI keeps a close eye on proceedings, watching for clues about the shooting. The funeral uh, was one of the largest ones in Chinatown history. And sure enough, Raymond's driving Peter Chong's Jaguar. They show up, and they go in. They're given a position of honor. They're there to show that they didn't do it, and that they were they're part of the community, and, and they mourn the loss of Danny and Pai Wong. Chong and Raymond Chow are called to testify.